All right, guys, first things first, ignore the pimple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably didn't even see the pimple at first, um, but now it's probably the only thing that you can see. So, oh well, my face is breaking out and I'm trying to get my hands clean. Um, I just finished having some chicken over here. It was good too. <laughs> my son is laughing in the background. <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? This is live. I'm not going to edit this out. Um, this, this is my life. I'm trying to film a video to help you all. And my, my son who's going on three years old is running around. He's quiet right until I get into the camera, right until I hit play or hit record. That's when he gets going. But anyway, so I had this chicken. It was baked chicken. Um, so I, I don't think this is what caused the breakout. I don't know why I'm breaking out, especially right in the middle of my eyeballs. Um, almost forming a unibrow with the pimple. But anyway, if you could ignore that, then we can have a good video. I want to talk to you today about... Let's get this grease off my hands. I want to talk to you today about five ways to stop procrastination. If I pronounce that wrong, blame it on my accent. Some people say I have an accent. Some people say I don't have an accent. Um, I mispronunciate words sometimes, so you got to forgive me. It is going to be what it is. Five ways to stop procrastination. All right. Number one, you got to forgive yourself. Now, people tell me and ask me, well, why is it important to forgive yourself? If you're watching this video, at some point, you fell short. At some point, you had to write a paper. It was due at midnight, and you waited until 11 to start it. At some point, you had a house project you had to work on, and your wife said, I'm going to give you three weeks to do it. And here we are. You know, we've now entered the third week, and she's going to call a plumber or a carpenter. All right? You waited too long. You Maybe you've gotten to the point where I need to work out. I need to work out. I need to work out. But you always wait until right before the gym closes to get enough energy to go work out. And it's like, oh, well, it's about to close anyway. I only got 30 minutes. Or maybe you actually go for the 30 minutes and that's all you you, you get in. But I know a lot of folks will say, I got to work out. I got to work out three times a week. I'm going to work out. And it doesn't work out. <laughs> you know, they they do everything else. You know, well, what did you do instead of going to the gym? Well, I sat down. I watched Netflix. I had some Cheetos. It's like any and everything Oh, well, you know, I, I I had to clean my shoes and then I had to double knot them and, you know, and I, I had to fold the socks, you know, just any kind of distraction to procrastinate. So this, no matter where you are right now on your line of, of procrastination, forgive yourself. 